Hello, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Today is December 30th, 2019. We just finished the letter E and posted that. <clears throat> We're going to do another letter, maybe two today. Um, we've got a bunch of people coming in, dropping off computers, picking up computers, so I'm going to be brief about this. So, we did E. We're going to do J, as in Juliet. <clears throat> I do the military phonetics for all the letters in the alphabet, so don't think that's a person's name. It's just J for Juliet, okay? So, J. Joystick. JPEG, Java, JavaScript, JCL, Job, Joliet, which is ISO 9660, uh, Joomla, JSON, Juniper Networks, JIT, which is just in time or whatever, uh, JVC, and Junk Mail. So, those are the items for the letter J today. Let's get right to it. So, joystick. The first joystick I ever had was Commodore 64. Bought that as an accessory. It worked great. I just saw a video this last week on the comeback of the Commodore 64 Express. It's over in the UK, it's coming back into America, and they demonstrated <clears throat> um, two different joysticks. So the mods for joysticks um, for the Commodore 64 and the Atari and all those great stuff, great stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I just, uh, you know, Xbox and these other games that have joysticks and paddles and stuff like that. I mean, it's just amazing. That kind of peripheral back in the day just made a ton of fun for gaming. So anyhow, JPEG. That's um, a graphics format that is uh, lossy. There's lossless and lossy graphics formatting. <clears throat> so when you take a picture and you save it on your camera, it's usually a raw format. When you go to edit it with like Photoshop or Paint Shop or something like that, you can save it in different formats from the original raw bitmap format. Um, like JPEG is um, lossy, which means if you open it and save it, it will actually, it can reduce the file size. And to the naked eye, you won't see a difference, but the computer knows there's a difference. So a lossless format is like PNG or GIF, um, but a lossy format like JPEG. Um, it just exists. JPEG graphics. Um, JPEG. There's a JPEG 2000 format. I don't know what that's all about, but never looked into it. I just know that when I go to File Save As, today I use PNG Portable Network Graphics as my output because it supports, um, oh, I forgot what the word is. Transparency. <laughs> well, I had to think about that. So we got to pause for a second. got an incoming call. Just a second. Okay. Okay, we're back. That was a quick phone call. One of my existing customers just had some computer problems. But anyhow, back to J. Uh, JPEG. We were talking about lossy and lossless formats. So anyhow, JPEG is a graphics format. You can file, you know, convert your, your graphics or thumbnails to JPEGs. Uh, Java. That's a programming language. If you're going to work for the government as a programmer or some sort of computing person, you need to understand Java. NASA, the government, um, I knew a couple programmers that worked as subcontractors down near Fort Huachuca, which is in southern Arizona, and they all had to know Java inside and out. Uh, one of my mentors, or mentees, that um, I worked with down in Scottsdale, um, he's working for GE, and they work on Go and Java and all that. So he started out with C Sharp and switched over to Java. C Sharp was cool, doing basic I.O., data processing, um, so yeah. Understand Java. Java's a great language. Um, I never got into it. I tried, but no. JavaScript. Now that's, that can be server or client-based. I do a lot of JavaScript in a lot of my client stuff for web e-commerce. Um, I keep it simple. I keep my code tight. I keep it fast. I keep it readable. Um, usually just form error checking, you know, some degree of uh, data manipulation but nothing crazy. But JavaScript is one of those top three languages or top ten languages you should know um, and have that in your toolkit. So understand JavaScript. Um, as a programmer, you need it in order to do web stuff. Um, some people are crazy JavaScript programmers. I would say on a scale of one to ten, ten being great, I'm like a five, six, or seven for when it comes down to programming in JavaScript. So anyhow, if I did it full time, I'd probably be a ten or eleven. JCL, Job Control Language. Back in the day, Unix, Jobs, whatever, you needed to understand JCL. 
That's all I need to say about that. Joliet ISO 9660. That's a format that was uh, created by Microsoft for CDs, DVDs, and it was for long file names. Um, I understood that back in the days of Red Book, Orange Book, Yellow Book. Um, when I was doing massive replication, um, there were companies out there that uh, uh, that specialized in uh, CD, DVD replication, you know, en masse. So we had to understand basically Joliet. Uh, let's see what else. Joomla, that's a content management system for the web. I know some developers that use it. Um, they're not very good at it. They just install it, do their content stuff. They don't secure it very well. I've seen a lot of them that lack security, just even the last couple months. So even on WordPress, people do not lock down their WordPress like they should. They just install the template, make it look good, and forget about tightening up. I wish there was a lockdown script for WordPress. Even Joomla, any content management system. I remember doing content management systems back before there were content management systems. And, uh, yeah, Joomla, hmm. eh, it's okay. JSON, um, that's communication language. I use that when I write to and from banking systems. Uh, it's a REST kind of uh, language. Uh, you send and receive your communication packages using JSON. Uh, Juniper Networks. When I lived down in Phoenix, Arizona, up near the Biltmore, there was a Ju Juniper Networks building. It said Juniper Networks on it. It was very cool. <clears throat> I remember that when I was riding around on my motorcycle. And I was, it was like 2001, 2005, something like that. And uh, that's when the Internet, too, was just coming along. And Cisco, they were behind the curve like Intel is today with AMD. But Juniper Networks was ahead of Cisco, and they were taking over the Internet, too. You know, the, the new Internet. And uh, anyhow, moral of the story was is um, Juniper, they lasted for a while, but I don't know where they are today, so... JIT, just in time. That's a manufacturing term as well as a JIT compiler. So um, you can have runtime languages, scripting languages that compile at runtime. But um, in manufacturing, we call it JIT. It's a Kanban technology, Kanban, Kanban um, mentality, where you basically <clears throat> don't overstock. You have high inventory terms. But just in time manufacturing, uh, I'm a supply chain management guru. No, I don't need my, my Six Sigma. I don't need my black belt and all that stuff. Just, you know, 25 years of quartermaster, supply chain management, all these different companies, all the 3PLs. It's not that hard. Raw materials to finish goods and transportation logistics. It's not that hard. Just understand JIT. JIT is a, is a fundamental efficiency kind of way of doing business. So, JVC. Oh my goodness. Uh, we used JVC for, uh, back to my DVD Juliet uh, format for CDs, JVC, we had JVC drives, JVC heads, uh, our OEM and our retail, replication, spindles, equipment and stuff. Uh, JVC was, is still or was uh, top of the line, so expensive too. <laughs> and junk mail, the last of the J's. I hate junk mail. It's trimmed down a lot. If they say what is true, 80% of our email is junk, um, that's a bad thing. That's like Pareto law, Pareto rule, 80-20. Uh, 80% junk, 80% bad, 20% good. I wish they would just stop junk mail completely. I mean, you go to your mailbox and you get a bunch of junk mail. But it's not that bad anymore, maybe once a week <clears throat> because it's so expensive. Where junk mail is inexpensive, except it's like robocalls. I wish the, the laws were really harsh on these people that tried to say, oh, you signed up because you signed up because you signed up because you signed up, and you don't know where you signed up. Therefore, you really can't point a finger unless somebody's like doing hundreds of millions of junk mails and coming from various networks and the cops at Interpol and the FBI and you know our entire law enforcement can just track you to just massively uh, annoying the world. So don't do junk mail. You know, use MailChimp, use legitimate methods for sending out mail to potentially new customers. Okay. That's it for Jay. Um, again, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tuna guy. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go on to our next letter. We'll be right back. Thanks.